Okay, hey y'all. <laughs> if you're watching this, that means that I finally took the plunge and deleted Instagram. I've been feeling both like underwhelmed and overwhelmed with social media for a minute. Specifically like algorithmic. <laughs> Is that the word? Um, social media. Like being fed things that you didn't choose to see. I am very over that. Originally, when I started posting, it was just like to promote my art, right? I was like selling prints and selling shirts and Instagram was a way to promote that. And then at some point, I'ma just be honest y'all, like at some point I realized that I was cute and <laughs> that I could get attention and free stuff and make a little bit of money. That was very enticing. For a while, I like legitimately put effort into like growing my Instagram, right? Um, and it was also just like the right time for it. This is kind of like 2019, 2020. I guess it was fun until it wasn't, right? Like, you know, the algorithm changed and the brand stopped trying to like fill their black people quota. Let's just call it what it is, right? And all of a sudden it's like, something that you put all this time and effort into like you're not getting the same response anymore i'll just be honest and say like it did make me feel a way like about myself um about my art about my lifestyle and like what i felt like i could show on a day-to-day -day basis because i'm a normal person with a normal job um and how do you turn your normal everyday life into content. Also just asking yourself if you want to do that, like did I want to have the responsibility of taking a picture every time I did something, every time I wore something, every time I went somewhere? Um, and like who was I actually doing that for? So like I had to ask myself a lot of like uncomfortable questions, like how much did like the attention or the likes, like do for me um and what did it do for me when they weren't coming anymore like was it making me feel like uh, oh, was my outfit really that cute my outfit was that cute like and why was i doubting that because enough other people weren't like co-signing and telling me that i have weighed like the pros and cons and realized that like not only is this shit like a total waste of my time but like it's making me question things about myself um that i shouldn't be questioning just period um i had to ask myself like do you really value other people's opinion this much and for a while i was i felt like i needed to actually do something drastic to get out of that loop of um like looking for validation, like validation on my appearance, validation on my home, validation on the type of art that I make. Um, because truly like, I don't actually value that many people's opinions like that deeply that it should matter to me. Um, and so when I realized that like, this is actually affecting me and making me feel a way and like, that's too much this shit ain't real like <laughs> this shit is actually not real maybe it's just like the virgo moon virgo rising in me that loves a good like pros and cons list <laughs> and now i'm thinking of it just like as i'm sitting here so the pros there's tons of pros um regaining my damn time no longer seeking like external validation so damn much um no longer like rotting my brain with just like garbage <laughs> not to quote Tyler Perry but this is not me being a high brown negro I have to just call it what it is like social media is just full of so much garbage like it was just a lot of ads celebrity news materialism consumerism I could just you know we could go down the list of all of the like negative things and then the cons are there there's I guess there are some cons right um I am preparing I guess to be out of the loop like I'm not gonna be up to date on every little like meme and internet thing 
I won't see kind of like the daily kind of updates that people post of just like what's going on in their labs but like in my mind it'll actually give us something to talk about when I see my friends in person so is it a con really like that's how I'm looking at it. It's like, okay, I didn't see the trip that you went on. You can just tell me about it in person. Yeah, if that's the biggest con, it's not really a con at all. So I think that's it. <laughs> if you like this video, if you're at all interested in hearing me talk about other stuff, <laughs> please subscribe. Love to have you. And um, let me know if any of you guys are feeling the same way. And yeah, I will see you guys for the next one. Bye.